What's up, guys? Today we're doing an operator guide on how to play as Oryx. Talking all about is Oryx still a good operator in Rainbow Six Siege? And how to play, rank up, and win more matches while playing Oryx. First, let's go to the uh, you have the T5 and the Spaz 12. This is pretty simple. Uh, this shotgun is it's okay, but you're gonna want to run the T5. The T5 is one of the best defender SMGs in the game. It is a laser beam. 28 damage, 900 fire rate, and it is very, very stable, especially with the vertical grip and a flash shatter. So definitely the gun you want to be running. And then you can run a bailiff as a secondary. There's no really real point in running that. You want to run a bailiff so you can like set up the site or, you know, in a clutch situation. I mean, it is a, sh it is a shotgun pistol, so it definitely doesn't hurt. Throw a laser on it, why not? And then uh, you have either barb or prox mine. Honestly, it's kind of picked your poison. Most of the time, barbed wire is going to be a little bit more handy because a lot of times you are oryx you are gonna be kind of running around the map so i like to place like barbed wire somewhat near site on the staircases to give my people that are on site a little bit of protection because a lot of times a lot of the anchors aren't going to have things that are going to stop the attackers from just sprinting in full speed so something's gonna help out all right now let's go through oryx's ability discharge you go right through a wall but if you don't want to go through a wall you can just sprint straight forward like so you can see in the bottom right, it will come back. But every time you hit something like that, like a wall, it'll take five damage off. So, I mean, I'll move my camera really quick. You can see my health bar there. Let's hit it again. Another five. So, you can really set up the site super quick, especially if you got like a Thunderbird or something paired up. Like, you can just make rotates just like that, and you're going to be good to go. Uh, you can also open up barricades like that. This is what it looks like when you try to run out of a barricade. Followed up by ability to go up and down hatches so if you press it once you'll hang so you can just like see what's going on your head will be kind of sticking out and you can s drop down below or you can just press hold it and go all the way up i don't patches the only defender in the game that can go up hatches I I mean, there are attackers that can go up hatches but uh and that won't use one of your charges, so you can use all your charges and you can just like jump up. So this makes Oryx probably one of the fastest operators, but you do need to be careful using your charge because listen to how much noise this makes. It makes a lot of noise and people are gonna hear it coming. And if you actually hit someone with your Oryx charge, let's say an attacker's walking through there and I do this, it will knock them on the ground, giving you plenty of time to just shoot them and take them out. It gives you like about a second and a half to, to shoot them when you do knock them down like that. And uh, most of the time when I'm using this charge, it's gonna be in a situation where I know that the next room is clear, but I'm just trying to get to an angle that they might may not be ready for. So let's say I'm like this, and then they know I rotate like that. I'm just like, okay, boom. Just opening up a little spot. I don't even need to go in. I just wanted to like open up the side of the wall like that. Like that. Just open up the side of the wall. Give myself a little bit of an angle. Then you can pull out the bailiff, open up an angle, but like I want to just keep my primary out. And if I do want to, like, let's say someone pushed me here, I'm like fighting this guy. I'm just gonna go right through and work them just like that. Being able to rotate extremely quickly as Oryx. Again, one of the fastest operators in the game. But uh, when you are making rotations like this, you do want to make sure that a teammate or an enemy is shooting. Because you're making a lot of damn noise and uh they're good. they might hear you coming so be careful so let's talk about a normal round of doors really quick at the start of a round i will take my time to set up using the bailiff there's no point in taking unnecessary damage unless you have like let's say a thunderbird or hell i mean even a doc but i don't want doc to have to heal me so i'll set up doing whatever i have to do with my bailiff at the start of the round whatever kill holes we want whatever four holes we want etc and I'll be good to go. If, if I'm running low on time, I will maybe use a dash to make one rotate. So it's just so I can speed up. And then throughout the round, I'll probably be roaming. Oh, let's let's place my barbed wire first. So again, talking about placing barbed wire in a position that it was going to help the people that are playing site. So I'll position one right there. Then maybe one right here. And now during the round, what I'll do is I'm gonna play like this side of theater. Watch it over here. Da, 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 da. Watching the aqua luggage. 
all those fun things. And I, I'm gonna work rotation. So let's say I know that someone's in sunrise, right? I just push into that. You hop that, no you can't. Going through the wall, get an angle. You'll get used to being getting that drunk thing. And uh, don't always feel like you need to go through the wall because if you go through the wall and the enemies will be right on the other side, you will die. So this is normally how I do it. And then just like, you know, fighting the angle like that, fighting the angle just directly. It's more about the pressure and less about actually killing them. Because as a roamer, you're not trying to necessarily just take down enemies. You are trying to stall the enemy out so they cannot push the site. So if you know that an, an enemy is literally waiting for you to swing, you don't necessarily need to swing. You just need to give them the impression that they are in trouble. They need to just hide and hold an angle on you. And then if you get them in that position and you just slowly, you know, just outweigh them because you're a defender, you can just wait. Uh, you'll end up winning the round. And even if they end up killing you, let's say two minutes go by, and then you're going to have three enemies having to run up the staircase in your bar in front of your teammates. And probably not. they're probably not going to win. All right, guys. Now let's go through some Oryx gameplay and break down some clips. All right, now let's break down some Oryx gameplay. So here um, on Canal, we see a guy droning. He drives his drone through reception. So uh, I blitzkrieg through the door, try to find him. And this wasn't the best idea. I mean, look at all those bullets. But we catch him in off guard. You know that he's jumping. And we, we, we went out. And his friends were not happy about that. So here, outside the reception door again. Again, just playing as a roamer. I mean, catching the enemy off guard when they're dealing with somebody else. I know that someone was bucking straight down. And someone was shooting at the guy. So I'm like, don't take the fight. Now, now you hear a door getting open. So instead of just waiting to be where the guy knows I'm at, I swing up. And we take him out before they even realize that they are getting swung. Rotating down and radio. Fuse. We take one out and then do a quick rotation as Oryx. Walls right open. through the wall. See if we can find anybody else. Open up the window. Your location has come. Jump out and kill the Twitch outside of Scuba. It's just a little bit faster to do it that way versus tearing down than jumping. I can just over to the window bust it open and then jump through it just slightly faster so this was reckless as hell but we go right through the door and uh we take him out and i uh decided to stay outside the wall because there's an open mirror there Yo, guys open it up let me in <laughs> all right here's another little stadium i literally made this spawn peek up just now uh Outside by the sunrise window. They're coming from the left or the right. He's just sprinting by. No, no, no. So this is one thing I like to do is Oryx, especially by, you know, for runouts. I mean, you can just get a little bit farther out. just a little bit faster than any other operator. So I do the sprint. I ask for them to shoot towards the door. I do the run out and then we run back in. And look at this guy. We're just swinging the window, being aggressive, keeping your crosser up. When you swing somebody, keep your crosser up and be ready to take the fight. Because look at this guy. He's just holding a tiny little pixel. Not really checking much. And that's obvious. Dax's dealing TK. Taking the fight. We rotate off and then we chase them up. I hear one's on my top right. He jumps over. We keep our crosser up. Every time we swing to the unknown, we keep our crosser up. Now, this is a little bit dangerous, but I jump out and, uh, you know, we take the other, we take him out. But here's the bad part I hit a Claymore. So thank God that was the last person alive. And then Dino jumped out of the window across the way and he died in his Claymore. <laughs> So another thing I love about Oryx, so see how he joined me. So now they know that I'm in that position. I'm out. That was a flashbang, so he doesn't really hear the audio. He walks in, and we win it out. And holding down the rest of that trench door. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, baby. All right, guys, that is it today on how to play as Oryx. Oryx can be an extremely strong roaming operator. Again, he's a roaming operator. 
you're maneuvering around the map quickly efficiently and yeah you can take a little bit of damage but he's one of the only operators in the game that can go up and down hatches so and he's on the defensive side so like let's say a map like bank if they have an oryx you never really know what floor he's gonna be on that's why you're gonna see like games in like pro league when they're playing like bank they're gonna open up all the hatches they're gonna have an oryx and they're gonna see some crazy rotations come from these guys because again oryx is the only one that's able to do that you can watch all the flanks and whatever but if they have an oryx none of that matters so again maps that have multiple floors like let's say consulate or bank cafe etc are all good maps for an operator like oryx and in the hands of someone that can shoot you're gone efficiently you'll do pretty well all right guys that's it for that's it for today make sure to comment subscribe and leave a like down below for more peace out until next time